Hi, in my last video, we have tested this POE standard with the chunk lint. We set up two switch, use chunk to lint these two switch. The VLAN tape AO2.1Q still can pass the chunk after we add the POE stand at the middle of this cable. We use a very short Ethernet cable to test the chunk and the POE standard. Is it working with the long run Ethernet cable? In this video, we are going to test this 1000 feet Ethernet cable. We will use this 1000 feet Ethernet cable to connect two switch and set up the trunk link. But we need to add two POE standard. These two POE st standard working together can provide 1000 feet continue run. First thing, let's just make the connection for the first POE standard, POE switch. All right, we are going to have to add this POE standard after the POE switch. It's very important to flick the input and output when we try to have the 1000 feet connection. So the output will face to the POE switch. I'm going to connect to the port number eight. I just configured port number eight as chunked. The reason is we need to have the high power because we're getting the 1000 feet continue run. The port number eight can output 90 watts. Okay, let's just connect the long run cable to the input port of the, input port of the first POE standard. This is the 1000 feet Ethernet cable. Let's move to the edge switch. Remember, this is the POE power switch. It can be powered by another switch, the switch coming from the center. Okay, I will connect to the input. For the second POE standard, we do need to flick the input and output. And now, Let's connect the output to the port number eight. This is the port number six. This is trunk port. Once I connect in, you can see all the indicators on. That means this switch is getting the power. It's going to take a while before the switch boots up. We also got the port number eight. It's VLAN 101. It's connecting to the camera. And the VLAN 101 here, also port number one, it's VLAN 101 connecting to the network video recorder. If it's work, we're supposed to see the live video on the monitor because everything is working within the VLAN 101 and we are used the trunk port which allow all the VLAN tech to pass through. I think we have seen the live video. Now, if this is a motorized zoom camera, it will take a while to find the best focus. So it's work. Even we use the 1000 feet Ethernet cable by adding the POE standard, it's, we still have the VLAN take pass through the trunk. The reason we already say it's because the POE standard is not the switch, it's just the hub. It will forward and pass through all the data coming from the and sent to the NAS. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.